Hi, hey, hello, and no, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, moving on. We, let's forget about that and <laughs> let's get into the video. So, today's video is all about this duology, the Stolen Air duology. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So, background. So, this is a, I guess, continuation of the Cruel Prince series. So the Cruel Prince are three books. It's not actually called the Cruel Prince, but that's the first book and that's what everybody's calling it anyway. So we have in that. We have in that. <laughs> so in the Cruel Prince series, we follow um, Jules. <laughs> I'm asking because I'm blanking on names right now. Anyway, we follow Jules and she has grown up in fairy uh, together with her twin sister and her older half-sister by they were raised by the man who just happened to murder their parents. Yay! And to make it even more confusing, they have a little brother. Not related by blood in any way, shape or form, but there we go. This little brother is called Oak. So, <laughs> speeding past what The Cruel Prince is about, read it. It's a short series. It's good. It's not mind-blowing, changing, world dominating. I don't know what words I'm using right now, but there we go. Um, it's good. It's... I don't know what else to say about it, but it, besides that, so anyway, that was that series. Now we get to The Stolen Air. I almost said Cruel Prince again because that's how much I've confused myself. Yay! Anyway, Oak. So, before The Stolen Air came out, I didn't know anything about it except that it was supposed to be Oak's story. So Oak is all grown up and this is what this is supposed to be. Now, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Oak, Oak is all grown up. However, he is not the main... Well, he is and he isn't. He's not the POV in The Stolen Air. So in The Stolen Air, we follow Ren's POV. Uh, now, she... She has a different, she, she has, she's had a difficult upbringing as it were. So she is a child of fairy, but she was mostly, well, her good couple of first years, I want to say like eight first years or so, she grew up with mortal parents and a mortal sister, which, well, well, she thought they were her family. She knew she was adopted, so it wasn't like that. Um, but still, they were her family in a sense, and then her real family came and brought her back to fairy, much against her own will. But you know, when you're a kid, what do you what do you do besides just follow the leader, or the most powerful person that's cruel to you? <laughs> anyway, that's past. Now she's not all grown up, but she's older. She's I want to say wiser, but also, uh, who is wise? So now she's, we meet her in the end of the Cruel Prince series. So she's not new new, but we don't know much about her until this book. Now we know where she came from and how she got to be where she is, which is basically living on the streets, living, well, in the woods outside her unfamily's house. Basically, she's uh, she's she's not stalking them, but she's stalking them. Yeah, she she can't exactly just go back to living with them because she doesn't really look like she used to when she was living with them when she looked like a mortal child, although slightly bluish. But now she's really blue in all sense of the word. Um, anyway, so Oak, 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 Oak 
comes along and picks her up on a little trip. He is on his way to rescue his father, who's... Well, he's been imprisoned by the winter people. The winter... what's the name again? Anyway, the, um... He's... <laughs> Ike's dad has been imprisoned by, well, Ren's mum. Yeah. So that, that happens. So we go on this whole trip trying to figure out what's happening and their past and all that thing and who can we trust and whatnot. And then our book ends. So we've come to book number two, which now is from Oak's point of view. Now, Oak, <laughs> spoiler, he rescues his father who's been in prison. Um, I, I think we can figure that one out as well. Now, however, he must <laughs> find a way to get himself out of prison because he has now been imprisoned by I want to say her nickname is the Winter Queen, but much of the same kind of plot that's in uh, the Sun and Air, as in the mystery of who can we trust and who's who's who and what's happening and is everybody's gonna, is everybody going to die now because the evil queen is taking over or what's happening? What's happening? <gasps> A lot of things happen. Um, then then not a lot of things happen anyway so i enjoyed the cruel prince series which is the one before this one i enjoyed it i didn't think it was like life changing in any way but i enjoyed it a lot i enjoyed it um because it's that kind of world that i enjoy it's easy reading it's fairy magic all that jazz and it's short it's about 300 pages ish I want to say so it's not a very long book and then there's three of them so it's like it's less than a thousand pages I'm, I'm pretty sure the series is less than a thousand pages um don't quote me in that because I actually don't remember the actual page number and that, that is actually besides the point but they're they're not chunky chunky books these are slightly chunkier but these are hardbacks also the font in them is quite large so <laughs> It's not a lot. I do believe these, I think both the books, funnily enough, has the same page count. Let me just, um, yeah, 352 pages. Um, I'm, I'm just going to double check because I'm pretty sure that's what they both ended on. And I was like, how? <laughs> how did you do uh, that? Yes. 352 pages. Both of these books are 352 pages with some added on bonus content because they are Waterstones exclusive. Blah, blah, blah. They are Waterstones exclusive books. Um, which is why they are black and not white. Which is why I keep seeing, I keep thinking they're white but they're not white. Anyway. So I like the Cruel Prince series just fine. It was a mind blow but it was good. I didn't exactly need <laughs> A, a new series after that. I was content with how that one ended, but I wasn't mad when these came out. I did get this one and waited a whole year or however long for this one to come out so I could just read them together because I, I do like to do that if I can, if I can keep myself from picking up the first book. Anyway, I wasn't mad about them, which is why I have them. Easy reads, very fun magic adventure trying to figure out um because there's this whole thing with fae and how they can't lie fae or fairy these are fairy confusion anyway they can't lie so the way they work around how to say things when they want to lie is mind-blowing <laughs> It's actually a lot of fun. I like it. Yes, I, d I don't think we needed this, but also it was a good time. Um, it was fun to see Oak as a grown human. He's not human. 
a grown man ish i do feel like he's trying to be someone else but also when we knew him in the cruel prince he's a child and we don't really get a lot of what he's all about but now he's like a man you know as far as that goes it was interesting i liked it i did like it yeah <laughs> again it's not mind-blowing but it's a good time it's a good time i don't regret picking any of the books up um i i mean i'm i'm waiting for more holly black books as it were not currently i don't know what's out i do know there's like a few books that's already been published that i don't own um like the megasteriums that wasn't the correct pronunciation but she did once with cassandra clare was that one anyway um i know there are other holly black books and she's done some other standalone books i i what am i getting on i don't know <sighs> the point is i i'm not mad about holly black's book blah, blah, blah. i'm not mad about holly black's books um there are a few more i can pick up whenever i get the chance to do that when i feel like reading more holly black books i don't know ah uh, i've lost the plot i've totally lost the plot anyway it was a good time pick it up if you wanna i do think if you were to read these books without having read the cruel prince series you wouldn't get a whole lot of the like say back content that the cruel prince will give you um there are a lot of things explained so you could potentially pick it up but you will get a lot more enjoyment from having read the cruel prince before reading the stolen air duology so i guess that's it <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching my waffling i shall see you all next time until then take care bye, -bye.